going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Quavo shows are looking like smoke perk. Damn. Now, after that little incident, um, Chris Brown pulled. I ain't gonna lie. It's been, it's been hard for that boy. Hard for that boy Quavo. But that being said, let's see what the video really talking about. I know it's dark in here. Don't mind me. Just some stuff I gotta, you know, do. But let's go. Y'all, man down, man down, or should I say, me go down, me go down. Oh, and by the way, this is by. Hey, hello, Yesin, whoever that is, yeah. Is Quavo, who not only have we not seen a reply from Quavo after that diss track that Chris Brown dropped, oh, which God. was some heat, but we are seeing some bad PR for Quavo lately. Now, granted, mm -hmm. I did say Quavo's best bet is probably not to respond and just cool out and everyone would forget it, right? Best way to hide a story is to cover it with a bigger story. Everyone forgets about the main story initially. Now, what happened, though, is another story came out that was bigger than the initial story of just the diss, and mm -hmm. it makes Quavo look even worse. And that is The Empty Show. So this started off as and a rumor that mm -hmm. Chris Brown bought all the front row tickets to Quavo's recent show. And everyone was saying, yeah, man, he, oh, so he gave Quavo the bag? This is like, okay. But we come to find out that this was initially a show that a college did for their students. It was supposed to be a free show for the students and barely anyone showed up mm. for Quavo. So free show, people not showing up. And then on top of that, so little people were going to show up from the school that mm. sources close, they were telling me that they go to the school that the public was allowed to come. And the pub, mm. even with public open free access to the show, what you're seeing right here is how many people showed up. Damn. This guy, I think if I were to count in the crowd, I'd say Quavo went, he went 10 times smoke perp here. So we would say like he went diamond smoke perp so judge that how you will because smoke perp had about like eight people at his concert so this looks like about 80 people maybe 100 max for quavo for a free show at least people had to pay like what 20 bucks to go to the smoke perp concert these people went for free i think there would have been more people at a free smoke perp concert not more than free quavo but yeah this is bad and there will always be cope people say man he he still got the bag though yeah he got the bag but how does this look in the future? Because think about it like this, and I don't know if festivals think like this. If you're a festival and Quavo says, well, my fee to perform is 100K, right? Let's say Quavo got his fee here. If you're scheduling a festival and you're looking for a lineup and you see this, right? A free, free 99 show. Quavo pulled mm. this many people. Are you going to be willing to pay him the amount that he's requesting? Or are you going to say, hey, buddy? You, for free, you pulled out 25 people. Not 25, it's like closer to 100, but a pitiful amount of people. And you're charging us this? Either you're going to take this disgustingly low amount, or we're just not going to bring you because you're not really going to bring too many tickets by being on this mm. lineup. Mm. Same thing goes for his future bookings. So no, it's not, oh, he secured the bag. When you get a look like this, it's bad for your future bags. Because I remember when Roddy Rich had fell off, and he didn't notice it yet. He was saying, how did I fell off? I just got 500K to go to a show. And people were like, nobody's paying you 500K for a festival. And he posted the proof. I think it was Rolling Loud New York. I don't think it was a good idea for him to post that much. Because other people would probably pay him less after. We don't know his numbers. Respect to him for actually putting it out there. Although, if you really want to be a CEO. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is going to mess up his future bags, though. I think he kind of got baited into doing that. You just can't win against the internet in that scenario. You just have to back off and let them call cap. But with this, Quavo needs to do something, man. Because we know for a fact, if there's a free Chris Brown show, it's packed. If Chris Brown sold tickets, it would be packed. This guy's selling like $5,000 uh, meet and greet tickets. Or was it like $1,000? Take a picture of Chris Brown? I don't know. However much he was charging. And you know, people were paying for that. And I'm not making fun of the people that paid for that at all. I, I don't like people that do that. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. They want to take a picture of Chris Brown. It's worth it to them. And the money is not significant enough to them for it to matter. So why would you put your standards on somebody else? I just, I don't like that. Now, if people are doing other things, which I can't think of off the top of my head, then I might judge it a little. So Quavo, I think he just has to hold this L. That's really it. Mm -hmm. How do you come back from this? And Chris Brown, he gave him some grace because if it was Rick Ross, if it was 50 Cent, they would be clowning Quavo for this type of show out. And initially I thought, hey, maybe the show just didn't pack out. You know, like it was early and people took a screenshot or a, not a screenshot. People took a photo 
and it was early so they were trying to make Quavo look a certain way but seeing everyone so close to the stage makes me think like oh this is not early this is actually how many people showed up which is sad and then that begs the question talking about me go down would this happen to offset i don't know what do you think i don't think this would happen to offset i think he'd have a decent amount of people showing up we know this wouldn't happen to Chris Brown. We got to see this beef continue to develop because a bunch of people were saying Quavo's album is good. So I put that on my list to listen to. This most recent album he did, that was kind of like a tribute to Rocket. I said Rocket Power in my head. A tribute to Takeoff. I don't know why I said Rocket. Was Takeoff's album mm -hmm. named Rocket? I remember the album, but I don't remember the album name. It's escaping me off of the top of my head right now. Wait, I'm not no encyclopedia. No encyclopedia Britannica. But on some real stuff, Quavo ain't really been... To me, Quavo ain't really been in like Offset did and how Takeoff was doing before, you know, rest in, rest in peace, that man's soul. But yeah, and then with all the publicity and stuff he been, yeah, it looked, it looked like we got him to go down, no cap. Just remember what's necessary. So overall, right now, Chris Brown said he smashed Saweetie while yeah. she was with Quavo, and yeah. Quavo didn't respond and deny that. So we don't know if that's true or not. Saweetie, I don't even think she denied it. She just posted that Quavo was DMing her in January, which has nothing to do with anything. It's just like a flex for her to just insert herself. So Quavo is even more embarrassed from that front. Quavo didn't respond to the diss track, which I don't expect him to. The guy cannot rap. Definitely can't out-rap Chris Brown. And we're not trying to hear him drop some melodies on a track for Chris Brown either. He can't out-sing Chris Brown. What, are you going to try to diss somebody? Like, oh... This guy's popping cameras. He's beating on women, which he did in the first track. But was that tender? I think that might have been tender. Yeah, what, what is he going to talk about? Karuchi? Maybe Karuchi could even pull more people than... <laughs> maybe Karuchi could pull more people than Quavo did right here. Yes, I don't know how Karuchi is looking at this. Like, ooh, after... I mean, with the level of fame that she's at, looking at Quavo pull this many people, somebody that's supposed to be lit, it's not looking too hot. It's kind of sad that the Migos were taken from us. We did get their greatest years. Culture One, man. Yeah. Just, I have such vivid, beautiful memories of that album coming out. Just hit after hit. Culture Two was a crazy moment. I didn't like Culture Two, if you guys remember. We're going to go on a little bit. This isn't a tangent. This is related, but we're pretty much done with the main topic. So if you don't like to hear me talk outside of the main topic, I urge you to leave. And I'm going to slam the door behind you because it's really disrespectful. You need to sit here and listen to me talk about it could be nonsense until I'm done. It's really all there is to it. What better do you have to do? Come on now. And then I also want you to be in the comments after this. Do you guys think Culture 2 is better than Culture 1? That's a conversation I wanted to have. I didn't like Culture 2. I really didn't like walking. All right. So basically... That was the whole main gist of the, like how he said, if you go ahead, click. that's what I'm going to go do. But yeah, on some real stuff, Quavo, that was a free show. You only put like a hundred people. Y'all ain't going to lie. Take off doing, didn't doing better. I think take, damn, no offset doing better. My bad. Take off. I think his music still doing, you know, better than Quavo. Cause if you, if you realized all those songs they did back then, Quavo wasn't really Rapping like everybody else. <sighs> Excuse me. And it's just crazy to see them fall. First the Migos fell apart, then you know you see that. It's just damn. Quavo take, taking the biggest L. But um, without it being said, it's your boy OGT man. That's all I wanted to record. But yeah, talk to y'all later.